All right, so in the previous lesson, uh, we saw the parameters in the simulation tab. And now we'll start looking at the shape tab. Okay, so the shape tab is primarily where uh, you can define the shape of your simulation. So if you want to add some turbulence or disturbance or stuff like that, you can do that in the shape tab. So to start off with, you have dissipation. So dissipation is essentially how fast the smoke will disappear. Okay, or sort of like a life for the smoke. So if I, so the lower it is, the longer the smoke lasts, the higher it is, the lesser the smoke lasts. Okay, so let's say if I come to this one and I'll just take it up to 0.8 and if we press play, then you can immediately see the difference. Okay, let's also do one thing. I just want to temporarily, I'm going to connect the voxel size. So I'll do right click, copy parameter and paste relative reference. Okay, and let's make it 0 0.15. So it's a little low in quality, but it will simulate faster. Yeah, so this is at extremely high dissipation and this is at very low dissipation. Now, another thing that you can do is you have an ability to control the dissipation using a control field. Okay, so if I come in here and we can turn on the control field. So right now it's using the temperature. Okay, so if you don't make any changes, it will look the same. Uh, this is a little difficult to explain because I can't, I couldn't entirely figure it out. But uh, yeah, if you make changes to it, you can sort of get more interesting results. So this itself, in and of itself, doesn't make a lot of difference. But uh, modifying the the control field, like modifying the control ramp over here, that gives you interesting results. Okay, so if I let's keep this to from zero to one, and let's say if I keep this. Uh, in this direction and the other one I'll just flip it okay and if we press play now you'll see different results see this is a lot more dense on the outside okay and this sort of remains dense towards the inside okay and then if you start to adjust these things you know let's say if I do something like this So at the same level, you can, at the same dissipation level, you can get two completely different results. The next thing you get is disturbance, which we'll just go with simple stuff. It just disturbs the smoke. Okay. But the point is like all three of these are different noises that you can add to your smoke simulation. So let's just take this disturbance and we'll make it up to five. Okay. Or let's go all the way up to 10. And so this is what you get. Yeah, so the, the right one is smooth and then the left one, like this one has disturbance applied to it. You can see a little bit of noise in there. Now what you can do is you can come down to the disturbance tab and uh, so you can start to make some adjustments. So let's do one thing. Let's take this up to around uh, 30 so we can get a lot of disturbance on it. Yeah, there you go. That's That's better. That's more easily visible. Okay, so the basic things here are you have the block size, which is essentially the size of the noise. So if I get this higher, then you can see that the noise size becomes larger. See, like if I compare it between the two, so I'll get the same disturbance level of 30. Yeah, so this is a block size of, let's make this a block size of 0.1 and this is a block size of 0.5. So if we press play, See, the noise here is very fine and there it's much larger. And then the pulse length is essentially the noise animating. Okay, so what you can do is, uh, let's make them both down to 0.2 and we'll get uh, this pulse length to be really low, which means it'll, it'll go faster. And this pulse length will get it to one and we'll see the difference. Okay, I think a pulse length of one, one is faster and then 0 0.54 is slower. Okay, so it's the other way around. So you can see here that the noise pattern doesn't really move that much. Okay. See there it's sort of moving a lot. Okay. And here on the left one, like the noise pattern more or less stays stationary. Okay, like you can like this particular wisp is sort of just remains where it is. It doesn't really move that much. And over here on the right one, 
it tends to move a lot. And then you have basic stuff like you have roughness. So if you want to increase the roughness, let's get them both back to point two. I'll just increase the roughness in one of them and I'll lower the roughness a lot in another one. Yeah, so you can see on the borders, you know, like this is a lot rougher and this is relatively smoother. Okay, so this is as far as disturbance is concerned. Okay, so let's just, and this also has a control field, but I didn't really notice too many changes happening. But you can try it out. You know, like some of it is just experimentation. So you can just turn it on and then if there's no field mentioned in there, just type in something. Okay, like if when you turn on the control field and there isn't a field mentioned in there, you have two, you have uh, density and temperature. So you can just type it in and see what happens. Okay, the next one is we'll turn off the disturbance and we'll turn on shredding. So shredding is another form of noise. Uh, now, by default, if you turn on shredding and if you turn it up, uh, nothing is going to happen. Like they both look exactly the same. Okay, like if I turn off shredding and press play, they'll still be exactly the same. Okay, now the reason for that is that by default, shredding affects the flames. Okay, and we don't have any flames. So what you need to do is you need to change this to density. Okay, so just come in here, turn on shredding for both. And I'll turn, I'll set this to density. Okay, and now let's, I'll turn off one of them and we'll keep the other one on. Now if you press play, see now it starts to do its job. So you have to make sure that if you're just going to do shredding on smoke, make sure that the shredding field is kept to density. Okay, the rest is relatively the same. Like you have the block size, you have pulse length, like those things more or less remain the same. Okay, so I won't really, you know, go into that. Okay, the last one you get is uh, turbulence. Okay, so turbulence is, is pretty straightforward. Like you can, turbulence is a noise. Okay, so you can just, I'll turn on turbulence for one of them. And by default, it affects the temperature field. And I can just increase the turbulence. Let's make it around uh, three. And then I can just press play. And there you go, you have turbulence. And more or less same stuff. So if I can increase pulse length. Grain adds a lot more roughness if I'm not wrong. So we can increase grain. See, you have a lot more smaller, you know, verticals happening in there. Like let's try lowering the pulse length, see what we get. Yeah, okay, so in this case, is this is what I was expecting. So the lower the pulse length is, the faster the noise goes. Okay, and the way to explain that, it should be apparent now. Okay, let me just, I'm going to take the same value. So turbulence of three, and let's turn on. Okay, so we'll get the grain to one for both. Okay, so this pulse length is 0 0.2 and this pulse length will make it a 10. Okay, and if we compare the two, you'll start, we should be able to see a pattern emerging now. Okay. So the point is the noise pattern here doesn't move as fast. Okay, and the way to look at it is you'll see this little spike coming in from the left. Okay, see, so that sort of remains there for a while. Over here, it tends to move out very quickly. So the patterns in this one, they move very slowly. They, and the patterns in this one are moving pretty quickly. So you're not seeing, you know, too much of a repeat happening there. Anyway, so that's what pulse length does. Okay, so this is as far as, you know, all the shaping is concerned. Okay, so the final lesson in like lesson number one which is like the basic of smoke simulation, uh, we will take a look at uh, how to animate density. Okay, so we saw how to do basic animation using the sourcing, but if you want to do something a little more fancy, so we'll take a look at how to do that in the final chapter. And also how to set up a basic collision. Okay, so we'll set up those two things in the final chapter.